All right. Mm -hmm. Big deal. All right. So the, um, a huge story we're following this morning, obviously, in a conversation that kind of got off the rails a little bit. The big story, Prince Philip has passed away at the age of 99, seven decades married to Queen Elizabeth. So we have two tweets, one from the royal family. We'll get to this first. They write, it is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. The other tweet we were kind of waiting on was from Piers Morgan. Now, you can debate with me all day whether or not this is the other tweet you should be waiting on. The reality is, I think a lot of us were, and, and wondering whether there would be a high road taken or, or going after Meghan Markle a bit more. This was the tweet. Rest in peace, Prince Philip, 99, a truly great Briton who dedicated his life to selfless public duty and was an absolute rock of devoted support to Her Majesty the Queen as the longest-serving royal consort to any British sovereign. A very sad day for our country. Thank you, sir. And you mentioned still nothing from uh, Prime Minister Trudeau. Still nothing. Earlier. Yeah, can we confirm that guy? Still nothing yeah, still from the nothing. Prime Minister, right? Nothing. And uh, Diana is trending, as is uh, Meghan, because people are saying, waiting for the you know people to blame Meghan and Harry on this. And that's the sad thing about Twitter, is the immediacy of how quickly people react. And I'm like, where's everyone's sensitivity chip? Some people are even writing us, why are you sad? There's people dying in their 30s and 40s. Also sad, by the way. Since when do we say somebody deserves mourning versus not because of the life they've led, the size of their bank account, or the age they are. A loss of a life is a loss of a life. So I just worry about people jumping so quickly to make a joke, yeah. as opposed to having this time to mourn the loss of somebody who played a huge role to many around the world, but right? We know, we, we know when, uh, with social media, of course, that, that's what's happening. And, yeah. and Sid, you know from, from the Tim and Sid days especially how Twitter can be toxic in that sense. So mm -hmm. uh, Twitter is not real life. In yeah. that sense, and real conversations right. at times, people Bell just want to get that that one line or kind of just get that that like or that retweet. You're right. And the ones that get the retweets are the negative comments a lot of the times, mm -hmm. right? So uh, we do got to keep that in mind with it. But uh, again, this is something that you know. Again, there are people that don't care about the monarchy. Right. Let's be honest about that, right? And so, so there are people that are going to wake up this morning saying, "Yeah, I don't care." which we understand, but there is a legacy here and there is a history here and you do have to, whether you like it or not, respect the history. And of, will of this that. bring the family together? Well, Megan and Harry, will this bring the family together? Well, That'll be well, Harry was really close. Harry, yeah, yeah so. I mean, so, but this is, this is going to be interesting again. Mm -hmm. You know, normally this is where a family congregates and it has been nasty for a bit here. Yeah. I'll say this. There are, there are multiple stories going on right now. One, this is a significant story at the age of 99. But the other conversations that are happening right now about the royal family, not just in Britain, but in this country, and in, in other countries that have ties, this is going to be another moment where and you're going to see it play out over several days. What is the role of this family? Right. Why, why are they as powerful as, as they are? And in one, on one hand, you're going to mourn, but that conversation is red hot right now, and it's going to continue, and we may continue on the show. This is BT. Good morning. More after this.